Roger Federer and his coach call it quits after just two years and 11 titles. I'm Adrian Lawrence. The world's number three ranked tennis player announced that he'll be replacing six-time Grand Slam winner Stefan Edberg with Ivan Lubitschek. ESPN tennis analyst Brad Gilbert's on the line to tell us more. Now, Brad, Federer's been doing well so far. Why is he parting ways with Edberg? Uh, good morning. Um, first of all, I, I mean, it just kind of shows you that Roger Federer at 34, beyond having an amazing year at his age, that he's still kind of looking and searching and thinking that he can do better. Um, and most people at 34, you know, after the two years that he's had, wouldn't be looking to make a change or they'd be satisfied. But I think that the risk that he's taking is a good risk because he is not satisfied with being three in the world, winning 11 titles. He didn't win a major, and I think he still thinks that he can. And sometimes that a new voice, you know, like he got from Edinburgh the last couple of years, maybe he just felt, felt like, I need another new voice, or I got to figure out how that I can beat Novak in slams. And so for me, I just think that him taking a risk, it's probably a necessary risk. Yeah, he was coming off what was his most successful season since 2007. Uh, but at least maybe there is an opportunity for him to continue to grow. And he's elevated Lubitschek to being his coach. Can you tell us why that is? Well, first of all, Lubitsch had been coaching Milos Reales the last three years, so he's been out on the tour. He played Roger 16 times. They were very friendly. And I think more than anything, Ivan Lubitsch lives in Monte Carlo at the same you know, places where Novak uh, lives, and he knows Novak very well. They trained together in 2006, 2007, way back then, when they shared the same coach. And I believe that, obviously, since he had coached Milos the last three years, has been out on the road. And I think that maybe that he's a little younger than Stefan, a little closer uh, to knowing some of these players. And then I feel like Roger must think that he can bring something to the table strategy-wise playing against Novak. And I think that that, you know, he, he's beaten him in Dubai. He's beaten him in Cincinnati. He beat him in a round robin in London. But he's lost the last two Wimbledons, the Open, in best of five. And so I, I think that there, it's probably bringing on a fresh perspective to join his other coach, Seven Luti, and figuring out how to beat Novak. And that was ESPN tennis analyst Brad Gilbert. Now this January, Federer will be making his 2016 debut at the Brisbane International. You can catch more on Federer and get all your up-to-date tennis info on the tennis page at ESPN.com.